course, if you were here before, uh, Ragnarok was on stream playing Clyde Bro with his Ike. I don't know if he's going to play Ike, though. He, can, he also has a Joker. Sorry, I lied. This is another Winner's Round 3 match. Were we not watching Winner's Round 4 before? No. That's whack. Why are we not watching Winner's Round 4? Because the round's not ready yet. They're still, but they're but C plus and Venya are playing. Oh yeah, because that match is ready. But Venya's well, gonna make it all the way to the end. We're gonna see Venya later. Don't that's worry. fair. That's fair. Don't. Yeah. Don't no. Worry. No. We're you're gonna right. See all these this guys is good. later. This is good. It lets. It I want to watch Zaki now while he's still in bracket. I can watch <laughs> Venya later in finals. What if you see Zaki later in finals? Yeah, that'd be freaking hype. Yeah. So yeah, Zafros. He's a pretty patient player, but at the same time, his combos are schnice. His tech skill is schnice. His movement is schnice. He's schnice. Let's see. Probably, and I'm going to make a really not bold prediction here. I'm going to say top four winner side, Jewel, PK Chris, maybe? Venya, Stocktaker? Yeah. Not zero to none? Ah. Uh, is he in here? Yeah. He got second in doubles with PK Chris. Unless he left. I don't see him in... Huh. All right, then. Yeah. Anyway, game we one. We are getting into things. Yoshi's as a starting stage. That's interesting. I forget sometimes... Um, that That's a valid option in the that is side. That is Aeon's... That is part of Aeon's starting stages. Because it used to be just nine straight up, and there were no counterpicks or anything. What stage did you guys get rid of? You, you have eight now, right? Or is it the same stages as before? What does W mean? WarioWare. Well, I don't even count WarioWare. That was like the first month of the game you got rid of that. That definitely stayed around longer than it should have, but we got a lot of data. I don't know. It'd be fun to have it going. <laughs> Wasn't fun for Falcon, but uh, I play Yoshi now, so like <laughs> easy kills. See? I wonder I wonder what the metal would look like now if WarioWare was still part of the stage list because we weren't even playing Ultimate then. We we were playing like Tony Hawk's downhill jam. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's an uh, see if you know about the downhill jam sessions, then you know the deep, long out lore. Yeah, which is funny. That was when I started, you know, um, hanging out with you know the previous Smash Four. See, that's back when people. Anti was attending locals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He just showed up. He's like, I heard you guys have it. I'm like. Uh, we got something over there. I can't. Oh, he was taking it advantage of us. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when DeBuzz was going to be a pit main. <laughs> Day one or something. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. Yo, me and you were playing uh, friendlies in the back. You don't remember me? <laughs> All right. Uh, so Zaphros yeah, we here. Zaphros has two stocks. Just Ragnarok has one. We were uh, while we're gooning and reminiscing about the first year of Ultimate. Uh, Zaphros has been making a uh, a clinic out of this game here. Yeah, all right. He's uh, getting those combos going. Ragnarok really struggling uh, to get at a disadvantage here. Using that near the great use. Catches the go. um the air dodge with that down tilt, but isn't able to make too much off of that. He's got to really push his advantage further if he wants to keep things going. Ooh, great spot dodge from uh, Zaphros. Going to get hit by that up B out of shield, though. The back here, though, going to catch that Nair. The big juggle's coming out. See, I don't feel bad anymore when I play friendlies with Zafros and he does that to me. Because he, he does that to everybody. Mm. He does a lot. <laughs> a lot of stuff to everybody. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're in the All air, the and then he's going to hit you with the Mario stuff, and then uh, suddenly your stock's gone. You're gonna be like, yeah. what happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, you just did an up air, did an up air, did an up air. I'm like, oh, okay. I've actually, I was playing some Mario on, like, just... Quick play, Wi-Fi, whatever, but uh, character's got a really good anti-air game. It's really interesting. Uh, his up air is super busted as far as that goes because it's super fast. That's not going to connect. Just kidding. What are you talking about? Connected pretty fine to me. <laughs> um, yeah, so Ragnarok's got a lot of percent on him, but he's pretty heavy, and uh, with Ike's punish game, he can bring it back pretty fast. That's a quick, tw what was that, like 15 off of the up B? I Zaphros? can't tell that number's really dark. <laughs> um, Zaphros, though, not getting hit at all, but he will that time. 
Ragnarok able player. to push him into the corner, catches the air dodge with that back here, gets the pivot grab. Uh, Zephyros in the oh, corner. No! Oh, oh, great use of footstool there. Gets the back, uh, Nair into back air. Zephyros at the edge again. Zephyros really in some trouble here. Oh, what a read on the uh, still air dodge. Living, still living. Oh, my God. Oh, now he's at the ledge, though. Oh, Ragnarok playing super patient was not about to try and uh, punish that back air on a shield. The back air, though, there. Oh, Ether coming out. Oh, scary. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. the up air is going to take it. <sighs> I'm breathing Zafra's for you, going to take Zafra's. that game one. I'm breathing with you. Dang. Oh, man. All right, but, like, Ragnarok. What a nail-biter. Yeah, Ragnarok went, like, in his head there for a good 10 seconds. He if had he, the lease in his hand. He had the pen. He's like, I'm at 147, but I'm winning this game. But he, The that, pen touched the paper, and mm. then Zaphros is like, no, 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 not today. Yeah. You're not signing that free rent contract. Yeah, going for that, that two-frame might not have been the best situation, especially one as laggy as Ether. Um but that was a really tense situation, and if he did hit it, Zaphros was dead. Right. If, if, he, if he got hit in the wall, untackable, you know? Um, but we're going to game two now. This is Ragnarok's counterpick. We're going to Unova. I hear them talking about how this is a lot better than WarioWare. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan with the uh, hot takes Hold there. On. <laughs> Hold on. I heard Lilat in the conversation. Yeah, Lilat was the thing WarioWare was replaced by. Oh, Zafro's really starting things off with this Hero the 93 combo. Keeping it going, mixing things up with that cape. The fireball into the oh. downer, not going to work out. Zafros wants the zero to death here. That would be a clip. But the Nair going to uh, take care of that first percent. Zafros getting a little hasty on the up. He's going to get hit by that. So now it's uh, Ragnarok's turn to play of the game. Great parry there. Goes for the dash attack. Zafros not going to bite there. Hold shield. Ragnarok staying very patient after getting hit by that uh, that water there. Flood. Zephyros. Uh, Is that able to close the stock out? Ooh, Nair going to tr uh, beat out the up smash. Footstool again there. Breaks up the combo. <laughs> Zephyros Somehow. not releasing uh, up smash at the right time. And Ragnarok continues to build up this damage. No, that back throw? That'll do. Yep, that's going to be the stock. But Zaphros at 80% now. This is definitely uh, not too problematic for Ragnarok. As long as he can close it out. And look, it's looking pretty good here. He's going off stage. Ooh. Yeah, when Ragnarok has the chance to deal damage, he hasn't really been messing that up. Um, oh, he's going to miss the back here, though. Going to get that second one. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're at even, even stocks now. I think, but did Nolan just shout out Uno? <laughs> no, Noodle. Oh, Noodle. That's funny. <laughs> Ragnarok building up that percent. The up smash, though, going to help Zephyrus get out of disadvantage there. The up tilt going to catch the uh, the back air. But Zephyrus putting on the pressure. Ragnarok getting at, trying to get off the platform there. I think the down smash was a misinput. All right, great weight on his part. He's going for the ether. Man, oh, I'm... yeah, Zephyr's trying to recover there, but Unova's wall <laughs> slopes in a bit too much, I think, for uh, Zephyr's to get it there, especially with no jump. So Ragnarok's taking the uh, first lead he has in the set. Even after that, like, Quick zero, the 90. Uh, he's held his ground and has managed to bring it to Zephyrus to last stock in this game, too. Well, you saw that in the last game where, where he basically almost he almost stole that game back in the last stock. Yeah, no. Uh, Francis, really smart player. Oh, but that up air going to confirm into the down air. Ragnarok's still surviving. He's at 113. His stock is not going to go anytime soon. Well, look at the patience, though. He's not trying to aggressively approach like he was earlier in the game. He's waiting for Zaki to kind of throw himself out there and then throw the sword and try to catch the landing or do something else. 
Yeah, Zafro's trying to get that uh that cross up into grab, but Ragnarok doing a great job rolling back there. Oh, goes for the air dodge. Yeah, no, both of them making a face. But Ragnarok with the two stock. We're, we're going to a game, game three. three. This is the first game three on stream. Pretty pretty great. Although usually like at the bigger rounds, you kind of expect a lot of rollovers in the first few rounds. Uh, yeah, but this is more like even as far as seeding oh, yeah. goes. This is a Two really good players, uh, maybe not that high level that you'll see like Venya or like uh, Jewel at, but um, definitely th these this guys are on the much come up here. Middle of the bracket as you can get. Yeah. Uh, just from where they're seated. These two are very consistent players. They're not ones that are going to go zero and two. They're usually about. They're going to get the thirty third, twenty fifth, seventeenth, thirteenth. I'm I'm saying thirty yeah, third, but no, nah, they're getting twenty fifth or higher. But uh, even so, we're going to a game three now. Ragnarok on the verge of an upset, but we're going Smashville. Pretty good stage for Ragnarok as well. So something I noticed is that you you're talking about how patient Ragnarok is playing. That's something that Zafros does a lot as well. Zafros plays very patiently. So Ragnarok trying to out, you know, out patience uh, Zafros was working pretty well for him. Oh, but Zafros getting a lot of damage here. If uh, last game is to prove anything, it's that the big damage um, isn't necessarily an indicator of him doing uh, winning the game. But, um, oh, that up smash going to beat out the dash attack. Great weight from uh, Ragnarok. Ooh, great use of Nair, catching Zafros. Now he's off stage. In the corner, let's see how Zafros gets out. He's going to jump right over that grab, get this, the full hop back air, and that's going to take Ragnarok's first stock. This is actually the percent that was, um, what the percent was looking <laughs> like before. This what? looks eerily familiar. <laughs> yeah, like last game. Well, Mario able to shield grab out of that Nair. I envy that. <laughs> you can see Zaki's not trying to go for like these big extended combos like he was in game one. Which is very interesting. Um, but also, too, Ragnarok's doing a much better job of DIing correctly. That's true. He's adapting to those Mario combos. Oh, the up air catching the air dodge. The big stick wins. Something I notice about uh, players at this level and like players at my level is that we tend to not air dodge directionally as much, and like if Zafros air dodged away there, then he, he wouldn't he wouldn't have gotten box. hit by it. Yeah, um, I don't know where I was gonna go with that. It's something I noticed, <laughs> but he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. All right, so Ragnarok on the path to trying to bring this back to an even percent. The up smash going to. Uh, Hit Ragnarok out of shield. Wow, what a great wait from Ragnarok. He's also putting on that shield pressure on Zafros. Playing super patient. Not getting hit with any of uh, the things that Zafros wants to get these kills. But the back air. Good recovery there. <laughs> that was an insane uh, he just interaction. Full, full send mid-stage and almost pulled it off. Yeah, but that down air going to take that stock. So now Ragnarok. Oh, the air dodge. That's going to even things out. Zafros a little upset about that. This might be Ragnarok's chance to uh, do something while Zafros' mentality is a bit down. Well, that's one thing about uh, Zafros is that I think even in bad situations, he does a good job of keeping himself grounded mentally. True, and look at these combos that as are coming can, out. As you can see, <laughs> that did not affect him at all. Quick zero to 110. All right. Don't throw it away. Zaki. Ooh, goes for that. Zaki, you got to close this out. The down tilt going to hit him. Not He's on the platform. The down air not going to kill. Ragnarok at the ledge. Zafros trying to look for this kill here. Down air not going to quite do it yet. Oh! Right into Zafros's up smash, and Zafros gonna take it one over, uh, two one over, uh, Ragnarok. In easily the tightest set of the night.